What's up everyone? Uh, so I just downloaded this new game. It's called Journeys Interactive Series. So basically it's sort of like a um, scenario type of game involving like different situations. So sign in to save progress. It should be interesting. All right, so let's go to the first chapter. It's called Don't Forget Me. The Wedding. It must be when they first met, he had dreads. Or should I say locks, because it's not really dreads. Please. She all crying. I need you to help me find him. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> I've looked everywhere and still can't find him. Miss, calm down. Who are you looking for? My husband. I mean, my boyfriend. <laughs> we were going to get married and he never made it. Oh, you got cold feet? When was the last time you saw him? Yesterday, we had dinner at my parents. It would have been dope if they had voiceover. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> ah, he said, he called, he said, yeah, he changed his mind. Well, miss, go away at the altar. There's nothing to do here. Look how she looking like this mother. Spicy. How do you react to the cop's offensive joke? You stay calm, you tell him to go to hell. <laughs> You're not going to tell me what to do. Uh oh, Bridezilla. <laughs> yeah, if you act like I wouldn't be so sure. He reading her like a book. Shut up, just do your job. <laughs> Excuse me, did he just hush me? Or should I say shush me? Of course I did. I'm afraid you'll have to come with me, miss. Uh-oh, she's going to be arrested for telling the officer to fuck off. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alert, your decisions have an impact. Oh, thank God, it's you. Please get me out of here. I need to find Eric. Calm down, one thing at a time. Did something happen at your parents? Love, I know you don't want to lie to your parents, but let's better not tell them about me getting fired from work. They won't take it very well a day prior to the wedding. But it's the truth. Why hide it? We can tell them later. It doesn't have to be today. Tell us what? If you're right or die, you gotta cover. That we are so excited for the wedding. No. What's actually going on is. Why are you disobeying me? I said to leave her locked up. It's enough, Tom. Let her talk. How did it all end? I'm glad you decided to tell the truth. Yes, I feel relieved. But you did see your mother's face. Don't say that. She'll get through it. I love you so much. <laughs> and I love you, pumpkin. Tomorrow's a big day. Let's make sure nothing to fix it. I can't believe it. Sally is about to marry him and ruin her life. A future architect with a jobless hippie? 
Nothing good can come out of that. We should do something. Always meddling in people's business. Clap, clap, clap. Very well. Enough with all the soap opera. You got lucky, young lady. They came to pick you up. Uh-oh. Sally, we've got news. I found the leather that Eric left for you with his stuff. <laughs> Another case of our regrets, as I said. What a prick. Open it, dear. What are you waiting for? Uh, I did read something about once you uh, use the diamonds that you only get a limited amount, but whatever. Let's see what he has to say. There, Sally, the months we've been together have been magical. But we can't keep lying to ourselves. The last days have made it clear that our love can't last. We come from two different worlds, and that will never change. The, that must be the the bitchy sister right there in the red. Matt. <laughs> Bye, Eric. That's it? That's all you got to say for yourself? Maybe you, she dodged a bullet. Cheer up, Sally. Something better is waiting for you. I need to be alone. <laughs> Stop, my friend. Enough with all the depression. Uh-oh. Chips, pizza, and I don't know what the other stuff is. Just leave me. I have nothing else to do. Of course you do. Let's go. I'll help you prepare the exams you need to complete. Let's get to work. Hands on. Oh, spicy. Hands on, huh? Three years later, you healed, and today you start working at the best architect studio of this country. You go into the studio looking like that? Shit. So nervous. I'm already here by the front door. Thanks for your support, hon. Oh, she ain't all that she ain't booed back up. Wish me luck. Bye. She ain't already booed back up. <laughs> Tog pick. <laughs> Just Facebook. <laughs> Your memories with Eric three years ago. Damn, you also hunt me down on social media. I still almost forget it's time to eliminate Eric. Yeah. Fuck Eric. The past is the past, so let's leave it there. Well done, you're on your way to a new chapter. Yeah, can't hold on to that. Wow, this is incredible. So we got what a couple of we got like some uh look like a, a condo. Then we got like some corporate building, then we got like a parking structure. They all got on the same dresses. Oh shit. Good morning, Sally. She got the mole. I am Grace Campbell. The same dress? What a way to start a new job. About my dress. I hope it doesn't mean I'm fired before even starting. Don't worry, we'll get along just fine. We clearly like the same things. Uh-oh. Y'all might like the same man, too. <laughs> well done. Your relationship with Grace is on the right track. So ready to start. Architect Wells. Absolutely. It has always been my dream to work here. Marvelous. At the moment, we are working for Jack Taylor. 
the owner of Starline Social Network, and he is our most important client. Probably talking about Facebook, because the owner of that, I think, is, uh, I mean, not Facebook. What's the other one? Twitter. I think the owner is that is uh, Jack Dorsey, so Jack Taylor in here. Oh, speak of the devil. Jack, what a coincidence. Let me introduce you to Sally Wells. Well, she did say she had a babe, so. Our new promising addition to the studio. So, maybe uh, the chick with the mole is dating him on the, on the low. Uh oh. I love you, pumpkin. I love you, pumpkin. He do look like him. Do you want to marry me? Oh shit. Miss, are you okay? Oh my god, Jack and Eric are identical. Eric? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Let's see. Your decisions. You talk furiously to the cop. You and 58% of the players chose this. You read the letter. You and 33% of the players chose this. You eliminated Eric's memories forever. You and 70% of the players chose this. Hmm. So I wonder if you can go back and redo it and see what happens. How would you rate this episode? Uh, it was pretty cool, I guess. So I'll give it a four. Or I should I say I'll give it a five. It had everything. Don't forget me, is Eric back? Oh boy. So far, this is pretty cool. This can't be, he looks just like Eric. Sally, this is Jack Taylor, our most important client. Blushing. Ready for tomorrow, Jack? Yes, very anxious. They are identical. Only difference is the hair. I'll let you two continue. A pleasure to meet you, Miss Wells. I can't let him go, but I can't run after him. What if I say I have to go to <laughs> What if I say I have to go to the restroom? Excuse me, uh, I don't feel well. May I go to the restroom for a moment? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll be right back. Oh, Grace will keep in mind you left the meeting. So that was a bad decision. Eric! Hey, Eric! He doesn't react. Jack? Miss Wells, did something happen? Don't you recognize me? Mmm, you look familiar, but I just uh, have a terrible memory. Want some hints? Sure, I love riddles. Alter, runaway coward, dreadlock slacker hippie. Rings a bell. I have no idea what you're talking about, but you're very funny. Here's my car, I'll see you tomorrow. But what am I doing? I'll have them fire me. Sally, where were you? I was looking for you all over the office.
Yeah, gotta apologize. Smooth things over. Grace, I'm sorry. I think my blood pressure dropped. <laughs> Sometimes anxiety can play against us. Do you feel better? Yes, thank you. I'm glad. Back to work then. I want to talk about the client that just left. We will present a project for his offices. Everyone in his studio will be expecting that moment. Oh, I'd love to be a part of the team. Let's go slow. You won't be part of this project for now. I need you to take care of the other clients. Sure, count me in. I can't believe it. He didn't recognize me. Calm down, girl. He's just probably someone very similar. It's very strange. I feel like it's him. But with a different name, another profession, another look. You said Jack Taylor, right? Oh my god. He's just like Eric, but famous and no dreadlock. <laughs> That's what I said. I told you. But I don't understand, is he an architect? No, no, he's a client looking for a project for his offices. I love to apply and maybe that way I can get closer to him. It's a good idea, do you still have time? The presentation is tomorrow, I have all night. That's not a good idea. You gonna end up not getting enough rest and ruining the presentation. Leave it to the friend to be the uh, investigator. Now we result into the stock and the clients. <laughs> See, this is what I don't like. How do you get more? Oh, they want you to pay. Well, we gotta say no. I don't know. He'll think I'm stalking him. I'd rather stay working. What's wrong? Look, a photo with his girlfriend. Let me guess, it's her sister. Oh, what did I say? What did I say? Didn't I say that they was dating on the low? <laughs> oh, shit. I knew it. Grace and Jack are a couple. I knew that when I first saw her. <laughs> that was funny. If you were going to, well, y'all only give, give us a limited amount of diamonds, which is stupid. Sally, good morning. The presentation will start in a few hours. Jack is in my office and asks not to be bothered. Are you feeling well? You seem tired. Yes, I've been working all night. I took the opportunity to design a new project for Starline. How? Overnight. I'm sorry, but submissions are closed. You will have other opportunities. Uh oh, the boss seems like a bitch. What strategies do you use to show your project? I ain't begging her, go straight to the boss or the client. I understand. See you later. You know, gotta keep it spicy. I can't just sit back and let her walk all over me. I'll just go around her. Jack, sorry to interrupt. Sally, good morning. Were you looking for Grace? No, you. I wanted to show you an alternative project I've been working on. 
I think it's just what you need for your offices. Oh, I like your confidence. Just leave it here. I'll gladly evaluate it. This decision will have consequences later. I bet. Thank you. Bye. Because you're undermining her authority. They've been in there for hours. So nervous. Sally, here you are. She got a frown and he's even tempered. Grace seems upset. Fuck her. After a long debate, we have come to a conclusion. Of course, 69% shows this because he didn't have enough crystals. Uh, oh, that's how you get extra diamonds? Blood bone. Uh, I'll give it a three. Next episode. Don't forget me, pumpkin. Uh oh. Yeah, it's the same dude. I think he's just playing a game. How dare you to go over me? I told you submissions were closed. Grace, I'm sorry. I, 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 Your attitude wasn't professional. Neither is yours, bitch. <laughs> we have already discussed this. Sally was right in showing me her proposal. Ooh, women don't like to be wrong. And especially don't like to be showed up in front of their dude, so. Your project has been selected for the Starline offices. Yeah, little chick. Congratulations, you got it. Yeah, gotta grab, gotta grab the brass ring. We will make a good team. Yeah, she's intimidated. Women are usually intimidated by another woman that comes around, especially if they think that they can take their position or some crazy stuff. What a joy. That's great news. Tomorrow, first thing, we will have a meeting to put you in the loop. See how her face changed? <laughs> On the inside, she probably live it, but she got a safe face now. How about us? Shall we sh celebrate pumpkin? Pumpkin? As Eric used to call me? It is Eric. He playing a game. Of course, sweetie. How long have they been dating? Should you ask about their privacy? It's not right. Yeah, ask them. You look very well together. Have you guys been together for a long time? I'm sorry if I'm too nosy. No, you ain't. We've been together since forever <laughs> ah, she read that quick we were kids when we met wow how did that happen it's a long story we'll tell you some other day nah she gotta read on you she think you coming for her dude it's time to go but what would be funny is if she showed them a picture of like her getting married to Eric or the dude like before everything happened and then she'll probably they'll all probably have a laugh after. Good morning, Sally. Ready to start? Of course. We have no time to lose. Jack will show you the property. Great. The place is only two hours from here. You'll be back by today. Sure, not a problem. 
We'll head out right away. Excuse me, Grace? Yes, Daniel, what's going on? They are looking for architect Wells in the lobby. Who is it, her parents? Or the police? Oh, Mark, what are you doing here? Supplies. How awkward him showing up. Weren't you in Australia? They rescheduled my flight and I wanted to surprise you. Sally, is there a problem? No, no problems. Let me introduce you to. Don't say a friend. Mark, my boyfriend. A pleasure, Mark. You see how her facial expression changed? She's like, yeah. You got your own, dude. Leave mine alone. I'll be ready to go in a minute. Sounds good. Don't take long. Hey, I'm in the middle of something important. Do you want to wait for me at my place? Oh, I thought that baby will have lunch. I'm sorry, I have to work. They're waiting for me. Sure, I understand. Do you think you'll make it for dinner? It's my only night, and I'm flying out tomorrow morning. Yeah, of course. I'll be back in a few hours. See you later. Uh oh, they in the forest. So, what do you think about the place? It's beautiful, but what is going to happen to all these trees? That's what I'm worried about. Grace is willing to cut them down. Oh my god, that is terrible! We've had some arguments about it, but. Time is ticking away. We should start with the construction. I have a perfect idea to integrate the building without cutting the trees down. But Jack didn't ask for my opinion. So I'll just tell him anyway. <laughs> There's no need to cut the trees down to build the offices. How would that work? The building can have the trees inside. Mmm, that it I have seen something like that before. Where instead of cutting the trees, they build around them. I love it. An ecological reserve in the middle of the offices. You're brilliant. Grace didn't go wrong with you. You wild jack with your idea. Oh, time flies. Do you have to get back soon? No, I just want to call and say I'm running late, but I have no signal. We can head back if you want. Why are you looking around like that? But I would like to show you a special place. Uh-oh. The view that made me fall in love with this site. Coming with, or would you rather head back? <laughs> of course we gonna go. Of course, let's go. Sorry, babe, but I gotta see the special site. Who would have known that behind that suit there was an adventurous man? You got me. I wonder what's hiding behind Architect Wells. You have to find out for yourself. Uh oh. Flirty flirty. They seem better equipped to be together than uh, their respective partners. Their respective partners seem like they would get along better. Mm, may I ask? Go ahead. I have a game. 
If you could choose, would you rather go back into the past or jump into the future? Ooh. It depends. You have to choose an option. That's what the game's about. Ooh. Go to the past or jump into the future? I mean, if you jump into the future, you can get a read on your future and go back into the past and change it. As opposed to going all the way to the past and reliving all that time over. So, I'd rather not look back. Way to go. The best is yet to come. Sorry or revenge? Sorry or revenge? Are you talking about the, the board games? I don't remember playing revenge so I'll just say sorry sometimes it's difficult to forgive but we all make mistakes I agree no need to hold a grudge oh, okay totally honest or white lie uh, well everybody has to tell a white lie every now and then it's overrated to tell the truth Sometimes it's healthier to lie than to hurt with the truth. Yes, there are things you should keep to yourself. Oh, shit. One night stand or a stable relationship? <laughs> oh, shit. I don't want to seem like a hoe, so you're going to have to say stable relationship. <laughs> I like the idea of bonding with someone and see it grow. That makes two of us. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I thought she was gonna go in for a kiss. Shall we continue? Wait a second. Close your eyes. Almost there. Wait a second. Close your eyes. Almost there. Open them. Wow, a mountain range. That is pretty. It's incredible. I fell in love at first sight when I saw this place. Now it's my turn to ask. Do you prefer to come here alone or with someone? It depends. You have to pick an option. If it's someone like you who joins me, I'd rather have someone come with. Oh boy. Look at those clouds. It looks like a storm is coming. Oh yeah, a storm is coming, alright. And it's gonna be a hundred percent chance of <laughs> wetness. <laughs> ah! We should head back. Jack, my calls won't go through. Call me as soon as you get this. Oh boy. Where have you been? She probably got low Jack on his phone or something. Hurry, we should find a safe place. It seems like a dangerous storm. Uh oh, a cabin. I'll call my driver so he can come and pick us up. No cell reception. Damn it. No signal here either. I can't communicate. Of course not. It's just you and her. Oh no! The lights went out. Are you scared? I'll protect you. <laughs> I've always hated storms since I was a kid. Even more so when there are power outages. However, you make me feel safe like Eric did. Oh boy, she's still holding a torch for Eric. He's a new and improved version of Eric. Don't worry, I'm with you. Still no service. It's worse than I thought. We have to spend the night here.
your decisions. You asked about Grace and Jack's relationship. 43% chose that. You introduced Mark as your boyfriend. 64% chose that. And you accepted Jack's offer. You and 32% chose that. Extra diamonds, of course. So far, I'm liking this game. It's pretty interesting, the different uh, situations. So it looks like after each chapter, you have a chance to get five diamonds by watching ads. And like certain situations that you would normally choose, you can't because there's a cap on the amount of uh, diamond choices you can have. As you know, we're having a tough time in the dungeons. We have a lot of low-level champions such as yourself. I'm afraid I'll have to sacrifice you. What? What the hell? Grasping your jaw. You gotta be kidding me. I'm almost level two. I'm almost level two. Next. Choose your champions. Raid Shadow Legends. All right, so we have Locked Up, Episode 4. We'll be back after this short message from my sponsors. Well, that's how they make money with these games. You got to um, use uh, ads. We need to light the fire. There are sticks and dry leaves behind the cabin. Are you sure, Jack? It could be dangerous to go out with the storm. Don't worry, I know this place very well. Stay here, I'll be right back. Wait! What is it? You don't want to stay alone, right? Want to come with me? I think that would be the best option as we could bring more together. Yeah, right. Hey, I'm not scared. <laughs> it's just that I have nothing to do around here. Let's go then. See, we didn't take long. We'll light a big fire with this. Good, because I'm freezing. Yikes! Oh boy. What is it? Are you alright? You're like she got attacked by an animal. That looked more just a small scratch. I don't like at all how that injury looks. Yep, y'all out in the middle of nowhere, cut open. Don't worry, it's only a scratch. It's a deep injury, Sally, I do worry. Yeah, that's more than just a scratch. You better bind it up so it stops bleeding. Oh boy. I'll make a tourniquet. If the fire goes out, you'll be very cold. Don't worry, we'll stay warm for a couple of hours. The important thing is that your injury doesn't get infected. A scar? Eric didn't have a scar. Because it's not Eric. So it's not him. Although, he could have gotten it the last few years. Is that 
Is it possible that... Oh, he went down on her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Duh, Andrew, you won't bother you again. Thank you. That would be funny if it was Eric the whole time and he's just been uh, playing a game. Grace, do you have a minute? I'm on my way out. Have you talked to the construction company manager about tomorrow's meeting? Not yet. I'll call him right away. Remind him not to forget the floor plans. Cause you looking like a little snarky. SOB. Oh boy, he shouldn't have said that key word, they. She pissed now. Bitch. She gonna end up driving there herself. No thank you, Mary. I'm here to see Sally. I thought she was with you. No, and she hasn't replied my messages. I wanted to surprise her. My flight got cancelled because of weather alert. That's strange, she should have been back from work by now. I better call her. Out of service. Where are you, my friend? And join a fire with her boss. Does it hurt? No, it's perfect. Thank you. There is nothing to thank. Uh-oh, he hoped to surprise her even more. Well, where did you go to school? No, that sounds like an interrogation. <laughs> Just tell me why you decided to become an architect. Well, as a child, I love watching all the constructions around the city. Ah! <laughs> See, I don't like this. It's like we used the diamond to get to the cabin, but now we can't even use them to answer that question. I would have liked to know what his response would have been to that. Well, 
Oh shit. So yeah, he grew up an orphan. You know what this reminds me of on uh the vampire diaries, Elena Gilbert, her parents died in a car crash. And she ended up being the only one that survived because she got she got saved by I think it was uh Stefan. I think it was Stefan that saved her. From the from the river. So that's how you got that scar. So yes, it's confirmed it's not Eric. She got service. How he got don't got service, but she do. The storm must have cleared. You call Mark, it's better not to make him worry. They've been standing there since. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Jesus. <laughs> no one. Everyone has left. Why am I responsible for this? <laughs> you should have done something to help them. <laughs> ah, she's a bitch. Hey, yo. Jack is on medication. A treatment to prevent diabetes. Or does she mean that he's diabetic? Because I'm diabetic myself, so what she just said right here don't make sense. So he must be type 2, either type 2 or type 1 diabetic, and he didn't bring his insulin with him. That's probably what she's talking about. Okay, so yeah, he's diabetic. He probably had low blood sugar. It's probably why he asked for the four spoons of sugar. Or maybe he's pre-diabetic. Maybe that's what she's talking about. And they have him on some type of regimen. So he answered one of my messages, but it got late and she hasn't returned. I'm very worried. Bubba. Temperature dropped to 10 degrees below zero that night by the mountain. Something needs to be done urgently. shaking too why he just put his shirt near the fire so it can dry
Uh oh. Man, I can't do shit because I don't got no fucking diamonds. And I ain't spending money for it either. The best thing for him to do would be to like do some type of exercise to get his blood flowing like jumping jacks or something or something else <laughs> and a little other uh, exercising. Together. Uh oh. Do you hear that? Someone's here for us. She gave him a kiss on the cheek. Yeah, it would've got hot and... <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot he's a pilot. He <laughs> flew the chopper there. I mean, at least he cares. I mean, they both care, but... Mark seems like a decent guy. For her. You see why those percentages are so high because we didn't have the diamonds to choose. Oh, well, but I guess I'll have to wait until I get some more tickets. So that's going to do it for this video until I collect some more tickets. So I'll pick back up again later. But make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you all for watching this video. Peace.